Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD. In this episode, I actually want to go through very quickly OBS Studio. For those of you who don't know anything about OBS Studio, please have a look at my other videos which came out very recently. I've been trying to make some short videos that have been useful. It's short-ish. Um, that uh, will sort of explain how to use OBS Studio a little bit better. And um, today I want to bring to you uh, an interesting one, which is an issue that I had and I was able to resolve it it's, uh, with uh, some tweaking of the OBS Studio settings. So I'm using the original OBS Studio today, but there's two types. There's the original one and there's also Streamlabs OBS. Both are free to download and install on Windows and also, I believe, Linux as well. Um, but today we'll just focus on the Windows one as I get to the point this morning. So the point is this. The issue that I had is that I have two cameras, right? And I'm trying to do, you know, a production that is live. But the problem is that I couldn't figure out how to use the mics on the two cameras. So for some reason, the microphones uh, were both on or not working at all when I um, had the OBS Studio running with different scenes. This might sound a little bit confusing to you guys, so let me get over to the screen and I'll explain a little bit to you guys what I'm actually talking about. All right, so what we have here, as you can see here, is my scenes. And with these different scenes, um, I control what is being um, streamed or what is being recorded on the production itself. Um, so as you can see, I have two cameras here. I have mom camera and I have my camera. And this is the camera that you see just now. And uh, this is the other camera at a different angle, which I can put my hand out here. So you see it's on the side of me. And uh, the issue is that sometimes when I'm speaking, I will be speaking on this camera. So I only want the specific mic to work on this camera. Usually that is the camera mic, but I have a separate external mic as well. So the issue is, is that when you, by default, when you add in all these different, um, all the different devices that you have, like for example, I have two cameras and one mic, all of that gets thrown into the audio system. In fact, you could only choose, if I'm not mistaken, you could only choose one uh, primary uh input device which is one of the mics um at one time so that didn't really make sense for me because obviously i would want to speak here and on this mic which you cannot probably see here and then on the other camera you know the camera itself has a mic as well so i would like if someone is here to pick for the audio to pick up into that camera all right so what i had to do was this and we'll come back to obs studio here okay so the first thing that you would probably want to do is disable most of the default uh, input mics. So to do that, I went into file and I went into settings and you should see under audio, you'll notice that I actually have disabled all of my mics here. So what that does is it disables the global mics, all, 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 all the mics that, um, that, that OBS Studio will kind of assume that you have created. Um, just bear with me and it'll make sense. All right. So now that you have disabled that, what will happen is that your scenes, you'll notice that I have an audio, the audio mixes on this side, but sometimes it's on to the right. Sometimes it's on to the, the, the right as well. So the audio mixer is here, but I, you, you could find it normally at the, on the right hand side. So I just moved it around, right? You, that, that I won't really go into, but, um, here the audio mixer. You see how there's a desktop audio here? All right, so if I were to switch that off completely, check this out. So this is desktop audio here. If I switch that off completely, it should disappear. You see, so it actually disappears from the standard audio mixer, which is, which you'll say, oh, that, that, that sucks. No, actually it's, it's great because I'll show you why. So you, you'll notice that I have one mic that's actually set up that's picking up right now. And you may be wondering, how did I do that? Well, because remember, I disabled all the other mics before. So per scene now, once you disable that setting on the settings part, per scene, um, you will now be able to add audio devices. So that's what I did. So for example, you see the Yeti, which is my blue Yeti mic. Um, I actually did not have this. So all I had was the display. If I have the display only, as you can see here on the source, then no audio will come through. But what I did was I added an audio source. So to do that, you just click on the plus icon and you go to audio input capture. 
I know you could create a new audio input capture, which I will probably do here just to test. And then you could choose the audio that you want. So I just choose the Yeti or you could choose, well, of course, I have two webcams as well and I choose that. So we're coming back out. I'm not going to create that. I'm just going to show you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you back how I did it. So on this screen that I'm actually recording here, you can see that you could hear me through the audio Yeti. And on my camera as well, I did the same thing. And I hope I could, uh, let me see if I could show you guys that or if it was if it's just going to record it 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 probably will only record um so i won't be able to show you guys on another screen but on another screen for example my camera what i have instead of the audio yeti is i created another source and instead of using the microphone yeti i chose the hd cam for that specific um, that specific camera and so what that would do is when you switch between scenes it will disable for example the audio yeti if i switch to another screen it will disable the audio yeti and it will enable the actual camera and the mic for that specific camera so what's great about what's actually uh great about that is that you don't have to you, you you don't pick up your recording so for example if i'm typing while i'm doing my thing here while someone else is being recorded on that camera it's not going to pick up my type in because my cam my actual mic has been disabled because of that so that kind of helps you to create a nice production and also um it eases up the, the the crazy audio that you might be getting and wondering where is this audio coming from and so forth and so I hope that this helps you out, especially when you're doing, you know, you're trying to get to a high level of, um, of, 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 of a decent production quality. And um, with that being said, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, of course, please let me know as well, too. And uh, probably I can do it into more detail if it was a little bit confusing. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for viewing. And stay tuned, stay tuned to another episode of RTHG coming to your YouTube screen. Now you stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.